Nigeria's former High Commissioner to Australia, Ayo Lukoni, joins us now to talk more on this. Thank you for joining us on the News at 7. There are concerns raised uh, across uh, the, the West African region uh, with regards to the many issues most of the countries in West Africa are facing and if uh, the new chair in person of uh, Nana Kufuado will be able to bring about stability uh, to the region. When you look at the issue of insecurity, you look at uh, the challenges uh, that uh, some of the countries are facing, like Mali and even uh, the rift between Ghana and Nigeria as well, and also the economy. When you look at all of this, can he steer the ship in the direction of development, stability, and security? Thank you very much for having me. I, I think the answer to that is yes. But I think the first symbolic thing we should look at is that the transition and the emergence of the new uh, president of ECOWAS, the person of the Ghanaian president, um, which is an, a signal that indeed, as far as tenor issue is concerned, the ECOWAS, at the level of ECOWAS, we're having these clear court procedures in terms of change from one, from one president to the other. I think that is a very welcome development. And I think this is something which we should also, of course, uh, uh, applaud. And I know that the president himself, in person of President Buhari, also made reference to this. That is one aspect of it. We should clap and welcome ECOWAS for this development. The second issue, of course, is the array of issues which is going to be before ECOWAS in terms of the COVID-19, in terms of issues of security. And I think it's a reflection of the fact that ECOWAS president themselves are ready to confront the issue. Let, 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 me, let me just divert and also say that the political development, as far as ECOWAS president said is concerned, is a good one. But the most important and also very key important aspect of it is the question of the private sector. Because at the end of the day, ECOWAS was set up to ensure impact on the lives of people. So we do have FEWASI. FEWASI is the Federation of West African Chambers of Commerce and Industry. And the current president of NASIMA, in person of Ajia Saratu Yaliwu, she is the president of Fewasi. And Fewasi is going to follow up with the meeting tomorrow in terms of what's to be done. The crisis of uh, the COVID-19, strike, I mean, I mean, striking the balance between lives and livelihood, all of these, of course, are things which we expect. And so the political signals which has been given by the election and the coming into office of the president of Ghana it's a very good one because we need a very important political push and support for what exactly the private sector in West Africa would do. And that is why, of course, we're indeed very glad in terms of this uh, development. We know that ECOWAS has achieved a lot in terms of going back to the 70s, I mean, going back to the 80s, the 90s. The, the issue of security has been won. And we should now work closely and consolidate the democratic process as far as West Africa is concerned. And that should translate into the dividend for democracy for West Africa, for people in West Africa. And that's why I'm indeed very glad that this is coming up and the issues of Mali has been taken on frontally. And we must commend our president for the role which is playing. And of course, like I said, the private sectors themselves right. will do a lot of work in this particular area. All and right. we are ready to work closely with the new president. All right, uh, former High Commissioner to Australia, Ayo Lukoni, thank you for your time on the news at SEM. Well, thank you very much for having me.